It's the basin. Viewers report seeing as much as seven inches of snow. We'll tell you what to expect overnight and for driving tomorrow. Plus, oh my God. Eyewitnesses recount tense moments after a huge tank battery fire in Eckerd County. Why heavy winds fueled another spark of the blaze. CBS 7 News at 6 starts right now. We begin tonight with a live look outside. You can see snow covering some homes and some roadways in Fort Stockton. So, or in Pecos that is, so how long will this last? The question on everyone's mind right now is, will this impact our travel to work and school tomorrow morning? We're gonna get an update right now as Weather Director Craig Stewart is in the Pinpoint Weather Center. He has been tracking this snow as it moves through West Texas. Craig, what's the latest? Uh, Jay Tatum, yeah, it is still snowing in parts of the area. The biggest snowfall that we're seeing again is in Fort Stockton. I want to show you the radar right now because it's either rain, it's snow, getting a little bit of a mixture, but over the last hour, here's what we've seen. Just walked out back here in Odessa, and we're just seeing some really light snow falling down uh, in our area, but the place that has been hit hard is around Fort Stockton. We're going to take a closer look into Fort Stockton. We're going to show you what's gone on over the last three hours in Fort Stockton because it has not stopped snowing. Now, the snow's getting a little bit lighter around Fort Stockton, but we've had reports from the public social media that up to nine inches of snow around parts of Fort Stockton is what we have seen so far. You can see the light snow there in Fort Stockton. We move back out to Alpine, maybe just a little bit of snow there and then around the Odessa Midland area. Light snow is falling around parts of that area with some rain around Stanton and Big Spring. Not a whole lot going on there. A little bit of rain, maybe a little bit of snow and that's the extent of it there. We're still under a winter weather advisory in effect until midnight and you get down around Fort Stockton, Pecos County, a winter storm warning is in effect till midnight and 10 inches of snow. That is definitely possible. We have power outages to show you as well. In our power outage map, uh, you go toward the Midland area and the outages there are affecting uh, about 13 customers. Uh, latest estimated restoration unknown. Get toward Wink and Kermit there, affecting 751 customers in the Kermit and Wink area. And uh, currently, that is unknown latest restoration. They did have it at six o'clock, but that has been pushed back. So a lot of power outages around the area. We're going to have much more about how long this snow is going to stick and what you can expect early in the morning on your Wednesday. Craig, thanks very much. The winter weather is creating some problems for the western parts of the Permian Basin. That's where we've seen the heaviest snowfall totals. CBS 7's Christopher Saul standing by live in Fort Davis. Now, Christopher, how's it looking there? Jay Tatum, as you can see, the snow is not still falling here in Jeff Davis County, but the snow is still on the ground. Now, people we talked with say that despite this snow, they're prepared for this and any other storm that might be coming in the future. Not really. I got my wood stove, so I'm good. I have groceries. CBS 7 reporter John Traffinstead is over in Odessa. John, can you tell us a little bit about how it's looking over there? I've been jumping around out here trying to stay warm. It's getting colder all night long. The snow's pretty much stopped, stopped here today. However, if you take a look at the video I shot earlier, it was coming down a lot harder. You can see the large, heavy flakes, but it was nowhere near what Chris saw or what we saw just a month ago. Now back out here live, you can see that snow didn't even accumulate on the ground, but what it did do is manage to get these roads good and wet. And as these temperatures continue to fall throughout the night, the risks of the roads icing over gets greater and greater. So you just need to make sure you give yourself some time, take it easy out here, and especially tomorrow morning, drive carefully because there is a very strong chance of having some ice on the roadways. For now, live in Odessa, John Traffinstead, CBS 7 News. John, thanks. We've already heard from some school districts around the area who have announced that they are delaying school tomorrow morning. So this is what we have so far. Fort Stockton ISD will delay until 10 a.m. Crane ISD will delay also till 10 a.m. McCamey ISD will delay until 10 and no morning buses will run tomorrow. We encourage you to keep checking back with us at CBS7.com as we receive more delays and closures.